All right, we are going to kick off this full hit challenge. And um, today we're gonna to start with the recumbent position, but I just wanted to talk a little bit and I'll make it quick. So if you wanna just jump right into it, here's what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna pedal forward, backwards, and add some hand weights. But before we get started, the reason I wanted to make this HIT specific, which is high intensity interval training, is that HIT training is absolutely wonderful, okay, for everyone. And my dog's gonna come say hi. Hi, Rexy, I thought I shut the door. I know, okay. So HIIT training, high intensity interval, tra interval training, it is wonderful, okay? And obviously, you know, you need to check with your doctor and everybody's level of intensity will be different. I'm gonna push myself hard, but, um, <laughs> hi. <laughs> but just know that it's highly efficient and it, there's so many wonderful benefits to explore, to, benefits and reasons to explore. Oh, I got a spot and here comes the other dog. I swear I shut the door. So they managed to find a way to open it. So, all right, here we go. I'm sitting on the keeper. Okay, the bar is nice and close and snug up to the chair. If you do not have the slide version, okay, you can still do this position, but it will be out a little bit. And that's okay, get it right where you need it. And the way that you do that is by putting your heel forward. Find your position in the chair where you're gonna lie down. Okay, like this is actually a little bit too far forward for me. So I'm gonna move it in just a little bit. Okay, with your heel on the pedal, you're gonna have a nice, like your full leg's gonna be extended. But when we shift, okay, where our metatorsal is equal with the, the pedal, that's when you'll get that nice bend in your knee. So that's what we're gonna do today. So, real quick, I'm gonna set the, for the use your XC coach, okay, I'm gonna set it to 45 seconds fast and 30 seconds slow. And then we're gonna have a two minute warm up. And that two minute warm up, that might be your pace that you go the entire time, and that's okay, okay? We just want you to find positions that you like and move more and embrace, med you know, exercise as medicine and help you accomplish your, your goals. So here we go. I'm gonna start this. I am going to warm up. So first two minutes, just a nice, e like just a stroll, leisure pace, you know, whatever you need to warm up little bit of resistance. What I like to do is just where you can barely feel the resistance, okay? Just a little bit, not too much, not too little. If you have no resistance, it will feel more like isometric pedaling. Um, and as you're pedaling, it's like going across the top of a rectangle, down the front of the rectangle, pull through the bottom, back up the other side. All right, XC is much more like pedaling a real bike. We are not on the hamster wheel of a flywheel bike that is assist assisting us through the range of motion, okay? That means that it's you all of the time, and that is a great thing. Now, if you want to have more resistance, like a high level of resistance through this, then, you know, put your tennis shoes on. But if you are going to pedal at a leisure pace or a moderate level of resistance, I really invite you to pedal with your socks. And in fact, I'm gonna do that, okay? So, hopefully this is out of the way. Here's why I like pedaling with my socks on. As I'm going, I'm gonna use my toes and I'm really gonna push down the front end of the rectangle, okay, and push and pull and really incorporate my feet into the process, okay? And um, I have seen these small motions with your feet make huge changes in people's foot fitness, okay? All right, we're at about 10 more seconds of the warm up, And I do have some weights that are handy. Here comes the dog. I'm doing this like I took a midday lunch break. All right, now when your dogs come up, Stop pedaling, okay? Because you don't want to hit him. Hi, this is Rex. He's an old man and he is a sweetie, but he is um, wanting some love right now. Okay, so it's asking me for the starting temperature. And how you get that, look at your crank arm, okay? Look down, I'm at 68. I know, baby. Okay. 
So I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit. I'm gonna keep my resistance there, but I'm gonna keep up the pace a little bit. Okay, pushing myself just a little bit more, and then I'm gonna increase it. So you'll see on the XC knob, and if you have the black one, the older one, okay, small turns make a huge change. Rexy, come on, honey. Come on. Half a turn, okay? With the yellow version, about every half turn is about a pound. Once you can feel the resistance, it's about a pound. Rexy, Rex, come on. He's trying to get in the garage. Lay down, honey. Okay, now slow. We can either rest. Sometimes what I like to do is just go in reverse, nice and slow. I am gonna go up a quarter turn, okay? I added about a pound. I'm gonna go one more quarter turn. There we go. So you'll find, here's how I like to think of it, okay? They're spinning, which at a low resistance, like easy resistance, it's, it's pretty easy to do. Now, this is also, I just have a little bit of resistance here, and I'm going a little bit faster. Now, when you add a lot of resistance, if you move to this cranking category, which I'll do in the next one, but embrace it not being smooth. Embrace that you have to chop through that, okay? Because when you're chopping through in resistance, you're really engaging all aspects of your leg muscles, okay? So. I forgot to put my watch on. Now, you might notice that your foot might get a little cramped, right? And both feet might even get a little cramped. I'm gonna go ahead and put my watch on during the rest. All right, indoor side goal. All right, so reverse again. Now, your feet might get cramped because they're out of shape, right? <laughs> so that's okay. Put your shoes on if they, we don't want it to hurt ever, ever. Nothing in the exit should ever hurt. But try to turn the resistance down, make it easier. All right, I'm gonna go up a quarter turn, okay? Now here, I have more resistance. I'm still able to spin, okay? But I have more resistance this time. And that high intensity interval training, okay? That really is, for you to determine what you want to do. On my own, a lot of times I'll crank it up a little higher than that, um, and I'll, I'll continue to increase it. So part of this challenge is that we want to build on it over time. So I'm not going to get to the really hard stuff until later. All right, now I'm in reverse. I'm going to turn up the resistance again. Half a turn. Now, what I like to do is find this range where I'm double dipping, okay? Cardio and strength training. That's always my goal. And I forgot to charge my watch. <laughs> my dog is pitiful. Okay, now I'm gonna go faster. <laughs> You're a mess, dog. <laughs> you know how they can look so sad? That's how my dog looks right now. So sad. Okay. By the way, this position at a dog park is awesome. Take the chuck it, whoosh, throw the ball. Rexy cannot do that anymore. Okay. Now you can see, I'm starting to get out of breath. Okay, I have more resistance. And just that half knob, okay? Like I can't continue at that pace the whole time. So I'm gonna put this down. And now for the next one, I'm gonna add some hand weights, okay? Let's and go ahead and get those. All right. Oh, I think we lost. Continue.
We have horrible Wi-Fi right now. I'm not sure what uh, Comcast, okay, we're going. So I like to go over the head and mix it up. Tighten your core while you're doing this, okay? no way I could continue that pace for the whole 20 minutes okay so sometimes in the slow there we go slow hold the weight or just keep going you know in a slower pace but keep moving you know all of your whole body so I have to figure out a routine that's going to work my typical time that I exercise it was about eight o'clock at night with my family watching TV. And um, adding, doing these live to that, it's not very family friendly. So, so right now I'm at a good pace with my resistance, okay? And like, if you're chunking, if you feel like you're chunking, chunking through it, it's okay. Whoosh, whoosh, okay? But for, for the burst, you might find that if you push it, you can actually go the whole time and spin, crank, okay, at that higher level of resistance. What's funny is I was out and about, and I actually came home to do this so I would have a better Wi-Fi. <laughs> but her Wi-Fi is not great right now. Now you'll find that you'll be able to do higher resistance in reverse. And we are gonna do that, just a reverse only workout even, okay? But this time, I'm just using it as my rest. So, what else can I tell you guys? This is how I always pedal XC. I practically always do interval training. I am somebody who really likes to be efficient with my time. <laughs> There's a reason this is a life hack, right? <laughs> um, so, high intensity interval training. I also think it helps pass the time because I get bored. Even take the XC app. You know, if you're on an elliptical machine or doing something else, use the interval clock. <laughs> I hear you, huh, dog. I hear you, and I see you too. He's talking to me. So we're gonna do this for four weeks. Six days on, rotate between arms and legs, and then rest um, on the seventh day, which is not gonna fall on a Sunday, was my plan originally, but uh, all right. 
So I will tell you, like right now, I can feel that I ate a bunch of Halloween candy, you know, but I'm now at least I know I'm doing something about it. And, and do you see how I'm, I just transitioned to reverse on that one? Just because I love reverse. But I, I'm going slower. It's cognitively a challenge. You really gotta work through it. And then it becomes second nature. And the cognitive challenge of doing that to make it second nature is awesome training for the brain. I gotta love on this dog here in a second. Hold on. All right, Rexy, come here, baby. Rex, come here. Just lay here, and then I can at least pet you. Rexy tore his ACL this summer, and uh, we decided not to have it fixed because he's getting so old, and it just felt like we were adding some non quality years to his life. But he is. Just such a mm. sweetie pie. Here, why don't you lay down right here? Lay down. Lay down. All right. Okay, lay down. All right, let me move these. I can pedal. There we go. Oh, don't fall. You got it. <laughs> Come here, baby. <laughs> He's so sweet. Okay, this one. Now, you'll see as I'm pedaling more and more and more, it's kind of moving away if you have to. You can adjust it. Pull it back and then go faster. I do think that interval training passes the time. You know, everybody has their thing about what works for them. It happens to be what works for me. Am I in perfect shape? I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, to be honest with you, it's not my intention to try to be. Even losing another five pounds for me would dramatically change my day, like how I manage my day to day with my diet, even exercise and everything. And so I decided that I'm comfortable with that. I think sometimes, you know, I took my very first, fit, I'm going fast enough, I took a um, boxing class. Bar we work a lot with Parkinson's, um, with people who have Parkinson's, and I wanted to take boxing. And I, and I really liked it, and it kicked my butt, and I thought it was so fun. Mm -hmm. But one, I don't like the gym to go there, so maybe I'll go once a week or something. But as I'm there, the lady had mentioned she does it three or four times a day. You know, so a lot of times we'll use personal trainers as like, the benchmark for how we're supposed to look. And they are working out doing four or five classes a day, right? And if you sit at a desk all day or have a job that doesn't allow you to do that, that's not who we should be looking to mimic, okay? So I tried during this sexy journey five years we launched our Kickstarter, okay, five years ago. And I have consistently exercised five to six days a week, 20 minutes like this, set ever since, okay? Even before, like the summer, Labor Day before that. Um, you know, breaking it up in chunks helps, but I'm consistently leaving it that way because I'm trying to run a company, I'm trying to grow a company, and you know, family life and all kinds of things where it feels realistic for lots of people. Not everybody, but that time frame of 20 minutes, high intensity interval training is super efficient. And obviously with XC, it's whatever resistance that you can, if you can get the resistance higher, you're gonna get your heart rate higher, okay? But sometimes it's just motion, and motion for the joints, right? All right, slow, I'm hoping. Whew. I'm really, uh, I'm super hot. <laughs> I usually don't like doing these in the middle of the day because I don't like to sweat during the middle of the day. 
So I likely will try to find a time to do this, but my son has school so early that uh, whew, it's really hard to do it in the morning. I would have to get up at like five. And which is fine, I'm getting up at 5.30 anyway now. <laughs> I like to drink coffee and relax before jumping into talking to people. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so we're almost done. Like you can see, getting through that 45 seconds with this much resistance is hard for me. Now I'm just gonna push, if I have to, I'll break, but still use the rest of the clock to keep doing it. Okay, now, back, pick up my weights. Ooh. I like to move during the slow intervals too. Sometimes I'll even crank it higher and do slow high resistance. But right now, we're starting here. Like, do you see that that's super, it's for me to do this slow, that's a lot of resistance. So I'm just gonna kind of hammer through it. resistance forward, switch it up and go backwards. Okay. All right. I'm resting for real this time. <laughs> I actually can't tell if we are live or not, but I'm gonna go reverse this time. I don't know if you can see, I'm sweating and, all right. I have so much resistance right now that I'm gonna go in reverse, okay? I'm gonna try to keep up the pace. But you can see by the time I'm done with this, I think this is my fifth set with the arms. You know, doing 10. A lot of times I'll forget to incorporate arms. But I'll show you guys something. So, with arms, there's so many wonderful things that you can do, okay? Chest presses, okay? Isometric exercises, taking your fist, pushing it in, preventing it from going, okay? Other side, there's ways, putting your hands to the side, doing arm circles, speed bag, whatever you can do to incorporate your arms too will make it more efficient. I'm gonna stop on here because I am going to do an arm workout tomorrow. Now, I'm not remotely in this position and I also didn't push myself super hard. That is another thing. I think I, I am not a fan of crazy intensity. I don't think, I think we've been kind of pushed by the fitness industry to do that. And it's great for some people, but not everybody. So find a groove that you don't hate, <laughs> like that we really like. All right. Now, I can go a little more resistance. I did a full turn right there. That's about four pounds I just added, okay? For every quarter turn, you're looking at about a pound, okay? Now, the reason I like this is because I feel like I'm working on my quads, okay? Resistance bands are great too, a towel, holding on to it. It really is up to you and your fitness level and what your goals are. So now I'm gonna go slow, 
Now, that might be too much resistance right here for me to hammer this forward, but I'm gonna try it. Now, to do that, you can close and bend down a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's too much. So I'm gonna turn it down. <laughs> It doesn't take a lot to get the resistance high. Now, I could turn it up that high and go slow. And here, right, really using my hamstrings, okay? You see my toes where I'm really pulling towards myself? Ooh, and I'm done. Let's see what we're at. All right, 126, okay? So we do, you know, keep track of it because then over time, you can see what you like and what you don't like, okay? If you don't like it, I don't, I don't think you should do it. I think you should do stuff that you like. It's kind of like in life, right? But, all right, let's see here. I'm gonna say yes and met my requirements. I am at work right now and uh, I feel accomplished and proud of myself. I actually do. I got this done on day one. I'm not like a, I spent my entire career being behind the scenes. And so doing these videos is super uncomfortable for me. <laughs> but so when I say I'm accomplished, I feel a, a proud and accomplished of myself. I'm like, all right, I stepped in front of this camera again. <laughs> but also because I did something for my health, it's the middle of the day and I feel good and I'm sweaty and I will have to take a shower before I go to the meeting tonight. But um, that was fun, day one. Day two, we're gonna do arms. And um, if I can get a good internet connection, I will take XC out and about. Um, it also depends on kind of what my work day looks like. But we will uh, get better at this throughout the month, all right? If you, need, if you ate maybe too much candy, maybe go a little longer, but 20 minutes is awesome celebration. And if you only got through two minutes, awesome. Okay, really try the mobile coach. If I don't use it, I don't push myself. And um, I've gotten to the point where even if I have to use other exercise equipment, you know, um, with my son, let's, for example, if he, he is in the middle of a uh, physical therapy, then I will use the coach, the XC Mobile Coach to push myself. And it makes a huge difference. All right, have fun, have a great day. Happy November 1st. And uh, if it's cold where you are, hopefully you're nice and cozy at home. And if not, step outside, let's get some fresh air. All right, have a good day.